Colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. You can be sure to learn anything for free if you follow Elon Musk's learning method. You can trust Musk on this since he is a self-learned rocket scientist. The good news with Elon's method is that you do not need a college degree. In fact, he describes colleges as a place of having fun in an interview at the Satellite 2020 conference. Check it out. You don't need college to learn, it, learn stuff, okay? Everything is available basically for free. Uh, you can learn anything you want for free. It is not a question of learning. There, there is a value that colleges have, which is like, you know, seeing whether somebody's, is, can somebody work hard at something, including a bunch of sort of annoying homework assignments and still do their homework assignments uh, and, and kind of soldier through and, and, and get it done. But that's like the, the main value of college. And then also, you, you know, if you, you, if you probably want to hang around with a bunch of people your own age for a while, instead of going right into the workforce. So I think colleges are basically for fun and to prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning. But there is a requirement of evidence of exceptional ability. If you're trying to do something exceptional, you must have evidence of exceptional ability. I don't consider going to college evidence of exceptional ability. In fact, ideally you dropped out and did something. The tech genius is clear that the colleges are not for learning, but that they are to prove that one can do their chores. That maybe explains why Elon dropped out of Stanford University two days after enrolling for his PhD. In an interview with Khan Academy, Musk advises the institution that it is possible for someone to learn anything if the learning process is made as interesting as computer games. The billionaire finds conventional education to be boring. With Musk's method of learning, the kids will be motivated to learn if their education is gamified. Have a look. You know, if you think of like, what is education? Like you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. And it's, it's, it's actually amazingly bad in conventional education. Cause like, it shouldn't be like this huge chore. The more you can gamify process of learning, the better. Like, and I think unfortunately, like a lot of education is very vaudevillian. Um, at, you know, someone's standing up there kind of lecturing at people um, and they've done the same lecture 20 years in a row and they're not very excited about it. And that lack of enthusiasm, you know, is conveyed to the students. They're not very excited about it. They don't know why they're there. Like, why are we learning this stuff? We don't even know why. Um, in fact, I think a lot of things people learn are probably there's no point in learning them because they, they never use them in the future. Elon is quick in turning his words into actions. He has created a school for his five boys. In the school, every child is allowed to learn at their own pace. The kids are just taught what interests them and what they can apply in future life. As an engineer, Musk has made sure that the learning process is practical. In an interview with Chinese TV, Musk describes in detail how learning happens in his school. Check it out. Sure. So how would you educate your five boys? Actually, I created a little school. Yeah. What kind of school? Could you describe to us? Sure. It's, I mean, it's small. It's only got 14 kids now and it'll have 20 kids and it's called Ad Astra, which means to the stars. That's maybe a bit different from, from, from most other schools is that there aren't any grades. There's no, there's no like not grade one, grade two, grade three type of thing. And making all the children go in the, in the same grade at the same time, like an assembly line. I know. Um, you know, because some people love English or languages. Some people love math. Some people love music. Mm. And, uh, and they have different abilities at different times. It makes more sense to, to cater the education to match their aptitudes and abilities. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one principle. Um, another is that it's important to teach problem solving or teach to the problem, not to the tools. Mm -hmm. So this would be like, let's say you're trying to teach people about uh, how engines work or, you know, a, tr more, a more traditional approach would be to say, well, we're going to teach you all about screwdrivers and wrenches and you, you're going to have a course on screwdrivers, a course on wrenches and all these things. And it's, mm -hmm. this is a very difficult way to, to do it. A much better way would be like, here's the engine. Now let's take it apart. How are we going to take it apart? Oh, you need a screwdriver. That's what the screwdriver is for. You need a wrench. That's what the wrench is for. Mm -hmm. um, and then a very important thing happens, which is that the relevance of the tools becomes apparent. Yeah, it seems to be going pretty well. Uh, I mean, the kids really love going to school. I think that's a, a good sign. You know, I mean, I hated going to school when I was a kid. It was torture. Um, so the fact that they uh, like they actually think vacations are too long, mm. like they want to go back to school. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Must suggest that one needs to understand why they are learning. The why side of learning allows the brain to identify the information learned as being important. 
On the other side, the brain is likely to discard any information taught in class that is not answering the why question. Here is how Musk explained the application of the why question in learning. Have a look. Um, there are definitely some good schools out there, um, but I think some of the, the mistakes, at least in my opinion, that I see being made in education is that the, the teachers do not explain why kids are being taught a subject. You know, just sort of get dumped into math and like, well, why are you learning math? What's the point of this? This seems like some, I don't know why I'm being asked to do these strange problems. <laughs> um, but you know, the, the why of things is extremely important because you know, our brain has evolved to not to discard information that it thinks is, has no relevance. So then, if on the one hand, you're being asked to memorize or learn, uh, say, formulas, um, but you do not know why this is the case, then you have this cognitive dissonance of, it seems irrelevant, but I'm being told to remember it, so I'll be punished. <laughs> so, so I better remember it. But so the why of things is very important. Are you wondering what changes that Musk would enforce as the Secretary of Education? Worry no more. Elon would certainly revolutionize the education system. He would be a cool Secretary of Education who would make learning a lot more fun. Here is how Musk would change the education system if he were in charge of education. Check it out. Generally, you want education to be like as close to a video game as possible, like a good video game. Like, so if you can make it interactive and engaging, then, then you can make education far more compelling and, and far easier to do. So you really want to disconnect the whole grade level thing from the, the subjects, allow people to progress at the fastest pace that they can or are interested in, in each subject. Um, it seems like a really obvious thing. A university education is often unnecessary. That's not to say it's unnecessary for, for all people, but you probably learn about as much, or, or, or the vast majority of what you're going to learn there in the first two years, and most of it is from your classmates. Now, now for a lot of companies, they, 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 they do want to see the completion of the degree, because they're looking for someone who's going to persevere and see it through to the end, and, and that's actually what, what, what's important to them. So it really depends on, on what somebody's goal is. If the goal is to start a company, I would say no point in finishing uh, college. Elon Musk is just one amazing guy. His learning criteria is not only awesome, but also productive. At just the age of 12, the young man had learned how to create a video game, which he sold to a computer magazine for $500. The Musk learning method has seen him literally create stuff from scratch, all the way from PayPal in 1999 to Neuralink in 2016. Musk's method is the sure way of learning anything however complex. Let us try it out. Hopefully it works for you. Good luck. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting Elon Musk videos, click the video right above.